The situation in Chites remains critical as government rescue operations continue. The death toll has risen from 14 to 18 following recovering of more bodies. Excavation trucks are working to clear the debris in hopes of rescuing those still trapped under the waste. Government officials, including Deputy Inspector General of Government Anne Muhire, have visited the site evaluating the situation and collecting information. We are looking for evidence. We already have some uh, that we need to collaborate. Who is responsible? Was this a natural disaster? Was this, is there somebody who didn't do their work? Is there a government uh, officer who didn't do their work? And they must be held liable. Muhire confirmed that President Yoweri Museveni has called for an immediate investigation into the cause of this disaster. We uh, took a firm that the president is concerned and has also directed us to ensure that the right, um, we get the officers or officer who didn't do their work, who did not do their work that has led us to this. And Elias Lukwagu, the Lord Mayor of KCCA, responded to this. We have raised the red flag before. Let me tell you, persistently we have raised this matter. We have sounded ourselves horse on this matter. We have always been raising a red flag. We brought out all the facts which needed to be interrogated. And we made a clarion call that, please, let's take action. People, particular individuals should be brought to account, should be held liable. The Office of the Prime Minister reports that over 2,000 families have been affected by this disaster. The government has decided right now what has been put in place in terms of the operation is... Uh, um, we are looking at now assessment of the damage that has been done, the number of families that are affected. Um, what we have as preliminary is about 2,000 so far uh, people affected. And uh, we are, however, planning for about 1,000. That is uh, for the tent that has been set up by Uganda Red Cross, working closely with the office of the Prime Minister. Charles Odongotho. Spokesperson at the office of the Prime Minister assured that plans and place to provide aid to the displaced families. However, he urged remaining residents to evacuate immediately due to ongoing risks in the area. The office of the Prime Minister has delivered food um, to uh, assist with feeding um, the persons who are affected. And, uh, but the most important thing that is being done right now is assessing the magnitude of, da of damage. There are also security persons for, who have been providing security for the, for the communities around the, 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 the garbage field that have also been instructed to get out of that place. Now, so if security people who are supposed to protect you have been advised that relocate, move out of this place, it is an imminent danger for you. So you, as an ordinary person, you have to, um, to, to listen. The Uganda Red Cross has also been deployed to assist on site. And the Red Cross has to deliver non-food relief items, and these are kits to support people with cooking, sleeping, the mosquito nets, the kitchen sets, and the like, things that should be able to help people to develop coping mechanisms. Deputy Police Spokesperson for Kampala and surrounding areas, Patrick Onyango, confirmed that 18 bodies have been recovered and are being taken to Mulago Referral Mortuary for post-mortem examination before being returned to their families. Business yesterday, we had retrieved the 18, I mean 14, 14 dead bodies and uh, today we have retrieved four so far and this makes a total of 18 and all were taken to City uh, Mochere Mulago for, for post-mortem before they are given to their, uh, to their relatives. Among those evacuated today were a pregnant woman, a family, and an infant. Longtime resident Suleiman Katende, who has lived in the area for 15 years, shared his concerns about the families affected by the disaster. Saba government yambe yambe kubantu aba ba fili dwe bintu byabo kubanga tebali wo mbuto baba de wo mbuchamu baba de wo mbutufu The relatives of the deceased are in deep mourning devastated by this sudden and overwhelming tragedy Justine Akami UBC News
Wali hawa, kati hawa, tusa kuhimi lidao. Waisewa? Wali wa? Wane kutente. 